Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I have a box opening. Well, it's, I'm not exactly opening it at the moment, but I opened it already. And I opened it last night to get it ready because I wanted to put things on hangers and do it this way because it's easier to see the items. And I needed them to hang out some of the wrinkles so that I can immediately start processing them as soon as I get done with this video. Um, yes, this box is from Thread Up. It's a mixed clothing box. It had 26 items in it. It usually has 25, but sometimes they stick an extra piece in there. Um, it cost $60 plus shipping and tax. So uh, total it came to $70.44. And with the 26 items I got, and they, they are all good that I can list them, uh, that's only $2.71 each thing if you average them out. That's very, very good. Uh, the last Joe Mar boxes I got were not very good, uh, especially the American Eagle box. That was really bad when I went to start processing things. Things either had spots on, they had so much pilling and wash wear on them that a couple of them I just threw in the Goodwill bag. Um, very disappointed. But I've gotten some really good boxes from ThreadUp. So I think for a while, I'm just going, hi Bumblebee. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the boxes I have from uh, Bumblebee and maybe another box from undercover and then keep keep getting thread up boxes because they seem to on the most part they seem to me so much better than jomar so uh i probably won't be getting any more of those uh at the moment anyway so let me show you what i got uh this was a really fairly good box um I guess I'll start this end. Uh, this is Free People. This is a little romper. I got a romper in the last box from Jomar, I think. Uh, this is another romper. Uh, it has a dropped waistline with some cords on and it's sort of a charcoal gray and the uh, bottom hem is is embroidered uh, and this is all embroidered here too so a deep v neck and has a hook and eye closure to about the uh like an empire waist here just a couple closures there but this is a size extra small so, three people. Uh, this is by Vince Camuto. I was hoping it was Vince, period, but it's Vince Camuto. It's a size six. It's very heavy lace, like it's almost like a laser cut lace. And it's all aligned underneath, of course. And it's just a shift. I think. Yeah, shift dress. It's new with tags. It has a price tag of $159 on it. So it's a zipper down to about there and just a pullover. And there is the pattern. Just sort of a dark red on black by Vince Camuto. And it's a knee length. Uh, the next thing is just a Calvin Klein. Nice big sweater. Gray. It has some silver threads in. A nice wide V-neck. Uh, it's tunic length. It's way down. And it has a uh, split on the sides here. Because it's a uh, tunic. It's a tunic sweater. 
So really nice this time of year. <clears throat> now, I don't know where the size is in this, but it's at least a, a large or more. I don't see a size on here. I just see the uh, brand name. Uh, this is a brand that I've never had before. Tracy Reese. And there's the uh, tag. The tag is just held on by a thread on each top corner. Usually that means it's a better brand, believe it or not. And that's what it says there, Tracy Reese. It's a sweater. It's a lined sweater dress. It has, it's fit and flare, but the, the bottom of it is very wide. It goes out into a, a very, very wide, lacy, uh, op it's open lace at the bottom. It's black, zips down the back, it has these panels. That's what they are, panels of lace that makes it sort of a flare bottom. It's a V-neck. I think Tracy Reese is a pretty good brand. Uh, this is Loft, Ann Taylor Loft in a large, uh, just a uh, pullover blouse with a tie here. You can, I think you can adjust this. I'm not sure. Maybe not. No, it's just a tie at the, you can't see that at all, can you? <laughs> it has a tie here, see? And little short uh, cap sleeves, just a full, full blouse by Ann Taylor Loft. This is Madewell. The brand Madewell. It's a size medium. It's just a cotton blend uh, long sleeve uh, button front shirt. It's longer in the back than it is in the front. So I'm not sure if uh, this is called a shirt tail or if, they, or if you can just wear it out. I suppose you can wear it any way you want. <laughs> it's a medium, just a nice basic piece. This, I have no idea this brand. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like poo doo doo. <laughs> if you can see that brand, P U O D O U D O U. I looked it up and it is a brand and it doesn't go for very much. This is a linen blend. It's a pretty uh, shift dress, short, it's short, it has a rounded hem. It's just a cool. Uh, Shift dress, a lot of roses on it. But uh, as far as reselling, it doesn't go for very much. It goes, it has long sleeves. I looked up this brand. It didn't go very good on uh, eBay, but when I looked it up on Poshmark, it was getting pretty... Well, people were offering it for pretty good prices. I can show you the brand there. It's Amanda U. Pritchard, or Up Richard. I don't know how you pronounce that. Here's how it's spelled, if you can see that. And it's from New York. It's vegan leather. It's very soft. It snaps all the way down. And the bottom is flared. Now it is to the knee. And it just seemed to me that this would be something that would go for a lot. But on eBay, not so much. But on 
Poshmark, which is probably why I put it. Well, I'll put it on both, but for sure I'll list it on Poshmark. Here's a little tank top. And I couldn't find a label, so I looked, I was looking at the bottom, and it has sayings on the bottom about uh, I run for me and get your goals, do it now. But then along here it also says Lululemon Athletic. Right there. Lululemon with its little sign, side uh, logo. So this is a little uh, Lululemon tank top. Nice. And another great brand. This is by Everlane. Now it's just a plain gray hoodie, but the brand is really good. It's a cropped uh, sweatshirt hoodie. Just plain. What a great brand. I've never found. I've never found Everlane by myself. Uh, I've only I've gotten a couple pieces in boxes, but uh, this is a pair of dress pants, but they're wide leg, wider leg, and they are cropped pants, like they go to your mid calf. I would say, yeah, mid calf cropped pants, wide leg, and these are by Banana Republic. In a six petite black. I didn't look at what these are made out of. They could be wool. They could very well be wool. They're lined. Here's the tag. <laughs> Should have looked at this beforehand. No, they're polyester, rayon, and viscose. So a nice pair of cropped black dress pants. Here was the first piece I pulled out. Uh, this is a jean, like jeans, five pocket. Well, it's not five pocket, but the front looks like jeans. But the back at the waist. Oh, I wish you could see this. The back, the back is all um, laced up here. It's all laced up with this cord. But look at the bottom. These are the biggest flared pants I've seen. They're huge flares with a raw hem. And just to make sure, I uh, went online and because I know that this was a trending thing that uh, flared pants were good or big in 2021. And I just uh, wanted to know if they were still in, and they are. So, great big flare pants. Never had one than, than this, this wide before. So, it's black, and it's by, of course, We the Free. It's Free People. It's one of their tags, We the Free. And it says 30. I don't know what that is. That If that's the waist size, I don't know what that means. I haven't looked it up yet. But it also says curvy there. So a pair of Free People, We the Free. Really big flare pants, like jeans, denim pants. Here's an elastic, wide elastic waist. This is by J. Crew, but it's J. Crew Factory. Uh, size four. But this is wool. These are wool. 
This is just a little mini skirt. It's all lined, but it is wool. It has pockets here. So a comfy little skirt. Uh, Uh, there's a pair of leggings. These are by, on the inside, it says Under Armour. Take it from me. It's Under Armour all the way around in the inside. Uh, I'm not sure of the size. I couldn't find the size. There's a tag here, but I don't think I have the size. No, it had a style number and everything. It had everything but the size. So, um, yeah, a nice pair of uh, Under Armour tights. And this is a, a uh, real nice, soft, stretchy material, like probably non- non-iron travelers although it's not travelers this is chico's in a size one you can see these or not but it's a really i like the pattern it's all lined and it's uh knee length just a nice pull on skirt with elastic waist very nice looking i think Chico's. This is Chelsea and Theodore. I'm not sure. I don't think that's an anthropology brand. This is an extra large. It's sweater material on the front. It's long sleeve. And the back is all this pleated sort of semi-sheer fabric. Makes the back really full. So just a neat looking piece. And all these things are in really good condition. That's another thing. Uh, there's nothing upsets me more than to get everything starting to process and you go to iron things and things have uh, spots and tears and things that you have to fuss with almost every piece. And that was what I was running into with Joe Marbach. He has a really cute little white eyelet, sort of the wrong season, but it's white eyelet. It's super clean, uh, adjustable straps. It has that sticky stuff around here that uh, keeps keeps them keeps it up. And I never heard of this brand. It's called Super Dry. Nineteen fifty four Super Dry. It's an extra small. And this is just a little mini or short. I don't know if it's mini. Yeah, mini. Mini sundress. And this little tag down here uh, says super dry on it. So just to keep, it's all elastic here on the back. Read some of my comments here from Bumblebee. Ah. Uh, let me go back here to the beginning. Oh, Sue, hi. I'm glad you're here. Yes, free people. You believe Tracy Reese is a good brand? Yeah, I think. Uh, Vince Camuto shares to a party. Good. I'll put that on uh, Poshmark, too, because my uh, Posh VA will pick that up and share it to the party. Made well. Oh, it's okay if I want to slow down a bit. Well, the reason I'm sort of rushing this is my back is killing me, and I want to lay down. 
uh, that Calvin Klein looks to be oversized, would be cute with tights, leggings, and ankle booties. Yes, it sure would. That big sweater. <clears throat> Don't worry about the brand if it's linen. Okay, Everlane is known for basics and shares to a party. Actually, two parties. Okay, be sure to get good money for those We the Free Wide Leg Flares. I know I have to really look up more about them. <laughs> yeah, it's a good box, Sue. Uh, here's another Madewell. This is like a flannel uh, shirt. It's black with little, little pink, uh, looks like flowers, little tiny flowers on it. Long sleeve, really soft, high low, long in the back. By Madewell in a large, nice warm blouse for the winter. <clears throat> Another free people. This is a button front, button up blouse. Sort of a window pane. This is a uh, hunter green and off white with long sleeves. <clears throat> Just your regular collared button brand. This is a small. Bio Free people. And here's a pair of really dressy shorts. Uh, these are by Banana Republic, but it's there. It has two dots under it. You can see this. Banana Republic, it's their outlet store. Uh, it's a size eight, but they're sort of like gathered almost like paper bag waistline only doesn't have a tie has a couple buttons just nice uh, regular length shorts not real short but they're not Bermudas either just a nice pair of dressier shorts pockets in the back And this is a uh, really fine knit sweater by Banana Republic in an extra small. And it has these little uh, roughly cap sleeves. And it's this taupe color. And a crew neck. And it is made. Where's my magnifying glass? Rayon viscose and uh, nylon. Rayon viscose nylon. It's nice and soft. Just a good. Uh, this is extra small. It's a good uh, basic piece. And this I love. This is by Free People. We. This is by We the Free. Another Free People. This is extra small. It's sort of a stonewashed look to it. Uh, blue, a full top in a waffle weave, long sleeve, a high low. Looks very comfy. It's an extra small, but I mean, I think it would fit a couple different sizes because it's sort of oversized for an extra small. I could probably get in this. I'm sure. I'm sure it would fit a medium. I like that. It snaps down to like halfway down. Here's another uh, anthropology brand, a Kimmy. 
Akimi and Kin. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. There is the brand, the little tag. Akimi and Kim Kin. Uh, this is an extra, extra small. Uh, this, I don't know how you, how you would, what you would call these sleeves. I mean, they're attached like, are these bat wing sleeves? Your arm comes out here and then it's attached all the way down. So it's more than a dolman. It's like bat wing, I would say. But the sleeves are lace and embroidered. And then this is just a stretchy knit. And purple. This is uh, just a semi sheer top by Cynthia Raleigh. It's a nice uh, chevron pattern. It has an exposed zipper halfway down. It's a long, long top, almost tunic length top, semi sheer. I'm holding this on the wrong side of me. Or I should turn the turn the box that way. There you go. And late. Uh, this is an open cardigan. And the fronts, this is terrible lighting here. I'm sorry. I thought this would be good. Um, sort of laser cut lace type look down the front these big panels and this is by sleeping on snow which is an anthropology brand and this uh, long sleeve and it's uh, big long sides so it's high low but it's long on the front tails if you know what i mean i don't know what they call that where the tail, the front fronts are really long. In this maroon color, it's a small on sleeping on snow. Okay, the last piece is a jacket by BCBG Max Max Zeria Max Max Azria. That's it, Max Azria. I always have trouble with that. Uh, this has a different opening. I mean, it's slanted and then has this V down here. Uh, I didn't look to see what this is made of. It's all lined. Let's see if this is wool. <clears throat> This is, has to be dry cleaned, polyester spandex. Huh, polyester and spandex, but it still has to be, um, of course you wouldn't throw that in the washing machine. It has the pockets on the sides here. It's a really nice looking jacket. Uh, These are these are what they call these buttons work. When the buttons work on the cuff like this, you can unbutton them. They're called surgeons surgeons buttons or surgeon cuffs for some reason. But these actually are working buttons on the on the sleeves. So usually that means it's a uh, expensive jacket at least in men's coats so i'll have to look this up i haven't looked it up yet so that's what i got in that box all 26 items i won't have any trouble listing uh they're all in good condition and brands that i can list lindsay's posh loft hi <laughs> sleeping us snow 
Yeah. I know. I was really surprised. I got all the three people. Super dry goes for good money. Yeah, I did look that up a little bit, and it seemed I saw a couple pieces pieces that uh, they were asking a lot for. So I'm really happy with this box for sure. And uh, I had to actually go to the grocery store today to the one I haven't been to. It was my favorite grocery store, but I haven't been to it since the plague. <laughs> It doesn't have uh, curbside pickup. Well, I think it had it, but it was really difficult to fill out everything online to do it. So I just stuck with Giant Eagle. Uh, but I went back to Bueller's, Sue. First time I've been in there since the pandemic. And uh, because I wanted to get there you know what this is, the cranberry relish. <laughs> they make this wonderful cranberry relish. I don't know if anybody but me likes it. I know my son likes the cranberry stuff out of the can, <laughs> but uh, my daughter's bringing that. But I wanted to get some of this. I wanted to get a container of gravy and... Uh, couple other things. I got a pumpkin, one of their good pumpkin pies and some other desserts and some baked apples and some other stuff. So yeah, I went there. I left the dog in her crate. Like yesterday, I went to get my booster shot. I'm all boosted up now. I have all three in me. I don't have any reactions except my arm's a little sore, not even not even that much. I mean, it's not hardly sore at all, actually. Uh, but I left her yesterday for an hour. She had was having a fit when I got home. She was barking and actually howling. But today, I came, I was gone an hour and a half longer. This is the longest I've been gone. Uh I came up the driveway and opened the window of the car and I couldn't hear anything. So it really worried me. So I got out of the car and quick came in and I thought, oh my God, she's dead. <laughs> so no, she wasn't at all. She was all wiggly and happy to see me, but she wasn't barking. She wasn't barking and howling. So uh, yeah, so maybe she's getting a little better. I don't know. I'm going to just continue to do that until I can be gone a couple hours and then I will go thrifting at Goodwill. I'll have to limit it to a couple hours, but that's okay. And I can make my haircut appointment again. I had to uh, cancel my haircut appointment a couple weeks ago. Now it's getting long again. So if she keeps doing well, uh, I'll be able to leave the house. Again, she's doing really well with the invisible fence. But I'm not going to let her loose and probably till after the uh, instructor comes and gives her the tests. <laughs> she's coming in December sometime. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but that's the box that I got. I'm really happy with. And yeah, surgeons cuss. Yeah, I know. I didn't, that's the first I looked at them. So they sort of looked like they might unbutton and they do. So I knew about that being a big thing in men's suits, but I never saw one in uh, women's jackets before. My sister makes that cranberry salad. I know they all love it there. I don't know. I know I love love it, and uh, I don't know. If, I can't think of. I don't think my son likes it. I think everybody else is okay with it. But I wanted to get a little container of it anyway. So I'm going to close for now. Uh, 
I have to put at least four or five more things on my dress for tomorrow. And uh, I have those already measured and all ready to go over there. So I'll do that later. But I have to go lay down right now. My back is needs a heating pad. <laughs> so, yes, uh, when you have time, Bumblebee, I don't know where what week we're in in the boxes. I think this is an off week for everybody, but that's good. It's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about the mask situation here. We're in the house now, and half of us are vaccinated and half of us aren't. So. <laughs> Make Carl try it. Remember how he made Linda try the squash. <laughs> right. I don't know if he's ever tried it or not. <clears throat> I will make him try it. So I will close for now. And I'll see you Sunday for sure. And show you what I saw this past week. So bye for now.